Hi, it's me again, Eliza Fan, and I'm going to be doing a real short, quick video, which I feel, uh, which will be the first of a few series called Self Expectation. Self Expectation. As I was getting ready this morning, the phrase Self Expectation just dropped into my mind. I'm like, hmm. First of all, let's take the definition of expect. Now, expectation is from the word expect. So I'm looking at it online. I just Googled it. It says regard as likely to happen. That's um, likely to do or be something. Now, expectation is a strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. A belief that something will or should achieve something. Wow. A belief that someone will or should achieve something. Very interesting definition. Now, when we add the word self to the word expectation, it's a whole lot. In life, we go through, we, we go through life having expectation of everything, of someone. You have expectations of your kids, expectations of um, your your job of your spouse of your husband you have expectations of the, the ex, you, meaning you're expecting something from them you have expectations of the society your boss has expectations of you or you have expectations of um, your the di your direct reports you have expectations of the service that is provided for you by um, your service provider whatever um, service you're looking for even when you buy a machine or an, app an appliance you have an expectation of that appliance in society we also have expectations of God and God also has expectations of us but one thing I realize is that we do not have self expectation that's self expectation now what I would define as self expectation of course self is self yourself me you self is your being I'm, I didn't google it but I guess it's self <laughs> it's, it's easy to understand what self is and if we want to add it to expectation is that's a strong belief that something will happen or be in the case in the future now self expectation is expecting something of yourself and unfortunately in life we don't have self expectation we we um we follow the expectations everybody has of our, us how the expectation you're boss has of you the expectation society has of you the expectation um your family has uh, your family have of you but we do not have um self-expectation uh, people don't have expectations of themselves do you do you desire something do you desire to be something do you expect something great from your life and for for i believe for you to have self expectation you have to have self awareness now if you want to talk about uh, awareness is the knowledge this is google also the knowledge is perception of a situation of fact now i believe for you to have self expectation you have to be self aware that is you have to be you have to know who you are you have to know what talents what gifts what abilities what comes to you naturally what what is that thing you do or what is that thing you enjoy doing what is that thing that people tell you as, as in you could if if you're woken up in the middle of the night you could do it you could say it wh whatever that is i believe that you have to know about yourself for you to have an expectation of yourself for example if you want to become a, a medical doctor for for someone that wants to become a medical doctor Maybe they have they have that passion or desire to help to heal. They are not squeamish. They don't as in, they 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 love to explore the human body and everything like that. That is an awareness. Now the expectation that they, uh, is for you to become medical doctor will be for you to know that you have to take some science classes, and um, in case of America, you have to have a first degree. Then you have to go to med school. There are certain criteria, certain expectations that. Um, the uh, the school um, admission process have of you like you have to have a certain GPA you have to have a certain score in your GRE and so on and so forth that's um, expectation based on a goal now self expectation what do you want to do what do you want to be who do you want to be would you have any it's it's I'll say self-expectation is a lot deeper than just having goals is 
going that extra step to say, you know what, I, I have this passion, I have this, and I expect myself to do this by this time, and this is how I'm going to get there. These are my abilities, these are my gifts, these are the things I desire to do or become. So I expect, now I believe that once you put an expectation of yourself, it's just like if you're, you take on a new employment or you are sales, they tell you, I expect at the end of this quarter, I expect at the end of the month, you should have reached somewhere. It gives more, it gives you, I feel expectation comes with more of a responsibility. Now, if you expect something great of yourself, then I believe that you're going to work harder to have, to achieve the set expectations now for you to have self expectation you have to have self awareness when you have self awareness then you can have self expectations when you have self expectations then you set goals you set you set milestones for yourself you set things that you want to achieve you put a responsibility now it's not just about having expectations and setting goals then you work towards it you you set out time you work towards it i will tell you i had um I'll give you an example. I have an expectation that at a certain point, I I should have accomplished. I've been trying to do my weight loss journey, and thank God I have lost fifty pounds. But I had to. I had expectations of myself. I had to set goals. Yes, it's similar. Um, I I I I had to be self-driven. I did not. I I got to a point that I knew I could not wait um, to. Um, I'll say I knew it wasn't a case of waiting to attend a class at the gym or waiting for someone to call me. I had to make it that this determination to achieve this expectation of myself. Number one, I doubt I got um, a playlist of videos I knew I could use on my own. I just had to motivate myself. I had to study, you know, just the same way. I set the goals for myself. I expected that at the end of each month or at the end of this week, I should have done this. It, that responsible, I placed so much responsibility on the things I needed to do and I accomplished it. I've accomplished it so far and I still have a lot to go. So, um, this is just the first series. I think it's something we should talk more about this self expectation. How can we, how can we, how can we build a self expectation goal? If we will say, how can we walk towards the expectations we have ourselves? How can we achieve those expectations that we place on ourselves? You understand? So it's not that we leave, um, you know, if you do not have a purpose, if you do not have a plan, if you do not have an expectation of yourself, then you live your life according to other people's expectation. And before you know, this life is so short. You are at the end of life. And what have you done? You've lived life according to everybody else's expectation except yours. Be and the reason you never lived it or lived up to your own expectations is because you never had any expectation of yourself. So once again, this is Elsa. We will continue this talk about self-expectation, self-awareness, and um, how to achieve the desired, the desired outcome or the desired expectations we expect of ourselves. Once again, this is Elsa. I hope this has blessed somebody and this has inspired someone. Be motivated, be inspired, live your best life. Do that which you, you, you desire to do. Look for your sphere of influence and go for it. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Once again, this is Elsa. Bye-bye.